Shalom, I praise you, Hawa, Basham, Yahweh, Shah, Basham, Kakadash, the Banas, the Apostles. So you see, bro, teaching the word in sincerity and in truth. I got a, I got a quick one here. <laughs> I might do another video on this. But you so called plantation Christians, you universal Christians, uh, you know, that are all, uh, you know, loving the world spirit, you bogged out, man. Let's read some of this. And I, I come across, I was just looking up some stuff. It says, uh, what's my website it says? Gotquestions.org, eating, drinking, blood. And I might do a longer version, right? It says, later the prohibition of Genesis 9 and 4 is alliterated in the law of Moses. Leviticus 17, 14 gives the reason behind command for the life of every creature is its blood. It's blood, it's, it's blood is its life. So let's see what let's see what these how these plantation Christians or these universal sold out um you know do as that and you know, do as thou wilt you know Luciferic plantation whatever you want to you know universal doctrine is let's see what it says it's important to understand that the new that New Testament believers in Christ, right, a freedom from the law, <laughs> and we are to stand firm in that liberty. So they're making you got to stand firm in that liberty, right? We are not under the law, but under grace. Therefore, do not let anyone judge you by what you eat and drink. So wait, there. So they're saying that you don't have to keep your. You're not under the law. You're under grace, and you stand firm in liberty from the law. So here, then they say, then they just quote another scripture, right? Let no one judge what you eat and drink no so can you just quote like is what i want to ask is how universal is this if someone walks down the street in a dress are you going to say well you, you got liberty from the law which i'm going to read the next part here if someone um if someone's like a flamer homosexual lgbt what are you going to say oh they got liberty from the law this is what they're doing all right, it says, therefore let no let not anyone judge you by what you eat or drink. That doesn't mean that the scripture didn't say. That doesn't mean that. It don't mean the and they've butchered that scripture, man. So they're saying that because that means why you guys that you don't have to keep the law full stop. That's what that means. You can't. They can't turn around and say, well, man shouldn't wear. You've just you've just done this. Check this part. So eating a rare steak, blood sausage, blood pancakes, blood soup. Or blood tofu may not be palatable to all Christians, but it's allowable. You guys are bogged out, man. You guys are bogged out. So you're basically saying you can drink blood? Uh, I just took it off, but you had... Just did a video on um, MGK drinking blood. They're basically saying that you can do that now. That would... You know, the Old Testament... You, can, so you could get... According to you can get a cup of blood and drink it based off this logic. This is ridiculous, man. Okay. This is ridiculous. So basically, if a dude man walks down the street, he start he wears a dress every day and then all that that, that he's he's good. And you guys are bogged out, man. Okay. And and, and and you know what I'm gonna leave it there. I'm leaving it there. You guys are bogged out. The Lord ain't delivering any of that are into that. Right, without him saying shallow one.